Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the euro currency. So as you can see market stands actually quiet in a really tight range, right around 121 resistance, as we talked about in the weekend. And so on Monday we've, we've got some kind of the indecision, indecision type of action. It's a high wave or something, doja rather right at the top of the resistance, and that's general uh, logical because investors are waiting for a Fed statement. So mostly markets are uh, stand cautions right now and just do not want to take additional risk before uh, the statement will take place. But in general speaking, euro currency shows better performance and uh, response to overall resistance and situation compared to the Great Bridge Pound, for example, uh, compared to the cold as uh, overall dynamic on intraday charts looks bullish and currently market despite the resistance, despite the Fed ahead, uh, it shows well, very stubborn action around the resistance level. So, and uh, it means that uh, well, bullish context still stands valid and it could, might happen that if Jerome Powell will tell nothing new, or at least some, some something that would support dollar, we'll see direct upward breakout here. Even maybe no retracement will happen. Although uh, waiting for a pullback, waiting for retracement, hopefully uh, we said this will be 120 or even 1950, 1960, that would be just great. But reality stands so that today we could get the direct upward breakout. And here's a few uh, relative signs that really could happen. So we shall take a look, for example, on interest rates. We'll take a look what's going on currently on the 10-year yield. It all already makes impact on the gold. So we'll see gold showing downside retracement, second level of retracement that we discussed recently. Interest rates are climbing. That should support the, uh, the dollar. And upward action actually was, is not very, very small. It's 154, 164. This is, uh, well, significant upward action. But take a look at the euro. On the euro, we see stubborn action, no actual response uh, on this dynamic on interest rates. It means that euro shows the, or better to say, resists stronger than other uh, assets uh, to this uh, rising of the yields and rising of the United States dollar which means in turn that overall bullish sentiment here stands stronger than, for example, on some other currencies. On intraday charts, we have a perfect bullish performance of the market. So if you, if you will see on the market this type of the performance, you should know that market has solid bullish sentiment. So once market is breaking for the previous top, it shows the minor pullback just to the previous top. So retesting it and shows again our prediction. So Two step forward, one step back. And uh, when that happens, it's very typical for the stock market, by the way, and for the action. This is called, it's calling as a trending market. So we'll see this in dynamic on any assets, in stocks in particular. You should know that current sentiment on intraday stands positive and market will go higher. And take a look, market keeps this tendency. So again, breakout, retesting on the previous stop, breakout, retesting on the previous stop. So, um, here also market stands in a very tight range, shows no significant drop, no pullback, mostly some kind of the waiting for clarity from the Fed. And all the stuff looks bullish. So if we wouldn't have the Fed statement today, I would say that probably we should not wait for any pullbacks to support the areas, but it makes sense trying to take position right here. Also here we have uh, the bullish grabber. It's actually more or less valid currently because market has retested. It lost, as you can see, but it has not been broken. Finally, on the hourly chart, we see pen and consolidation also looks relatively bullish. 
So some kind of the standing. So because if, when the market starts the downward retracement on the higher time frames on the daily, on the intra on the intraday charts, especially on the hour chart, that should, that should look as a strong downside action, some faster and stronger uh, drop. But here we see mostly the consolidation below the resistance. So it means that market is building an energy for a possible breakout. That's why currently I think that chances that we will get the drop to the 120, 11950 are not very significant. Inside of the triangle, you also could recognize some mining hand charges for me. So that's actually what we have on the euro currency. Yes, we have some bearish signs as well. So you can see here's bearish diversion stands with the MA City right around the FIB level on the daily chart. But for the truth's sake, that's actually the only bearish factual bearish sign that we have currently in place. So as a conclusion, I would say that there's more probability that we will get direct upper breakout up from here if Fed statement will, will be blank. So if Jerome Powell will keep everything um, the same compared to what he said in the previous uh, statement. So and chances on retracement here are not really very big. So that's our view on the euro currency today.